مبین عبداللہ کا سیشن ہے ابھی ہی از اے فل اسٹیک ڈیولپر تھیمس اور پلگنس بناتے ہیں اور ان کے لیے تعارف کافی السلام علیکم ایوری ون سو لیٹس چیک دس ون فرسٹ اوکے اٹس ورکنگ سو مائی نیم از مبین عبداللہ اینڈ آئی ہیو اسٹارٹڈ مائی کیریئر ایز یو آئی یو ایکس ڈیزائنر لیٹر آئی جمپ ان ٹو فرنٹ اینڈ ڈیولپمنٹ اینڈ وین آئی was working in front end development i got a chance to know about wordpress and then i started my career i i converted to wordpress development and now i am a proud full stack wordpress developer from last 5 plus years so the topic today uh, on uh, the topic on which i will talk today is theme development with said 9 and uh, dry templates and uh, using laravel's blade engine in said 9 so So the first question is what is Sage? Sage is not a theme framework, but it's a started theme, just like underscores. How many guys have you used underscores? Okay, that's a great number. So uh, unlike underscore, like in underscore, uh, you can have a good jump start, but unlike underscore, uh, it have a modern WordPress development workflow, which you can use like if 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 i say uh, underscore is it 100 hours start then under then uh, sage is a 10000 hours start because uh, with its uh, company like uh, browsing your development is very fast so all right why sage so ہم سیج کو کیوں یوز کریں ہم کیوں نہ انڈر سٹیپ کو یوز کریں یا ہم کیوں نہ انڈر اسکورس کو یوز کریں تو انڈر اسکور کے اندر ہمارے پاس ماڈرن ڈیولپمنٹ ورک فلو نہیں ہے وہ جسٹ ایک ورک پیس تھیم ہے لیکن ہمارے پاس سیج کے اندر ایک پورا ماڈرن ورک پیس ورک فلو ہے جس میں کچھ ہمارے پاس چیزیں ماڈرن بلڈ پروسیس ہے جو ٹیمپلیٹ انہیریٹنس ہے این امپروڈ پروجیکٹ اسٹرکچر ہے بلیڈ ٹیمپلیٹ انجن ہے سو سب سے پہلے میں بات کرتا ہوں امارٹن بلڈ پروسیس سو سیج ایک پرانی تھیم تھی جب جب یہ ریلیز ہوئی یہ دو ہزار تیرہ میں ریلیز ہوئی تھی اس کا فرسٹ ویژن تھا جسٹ لائک ادر اسٹارٹ تھیمس اٹ ڈزنٹ ہیو اینی ماڈرن ڈیولپمنٹ ورک فلو اینڈ آفٹر دی میجر اپ ڈیٹس لائک اٹس نیم واز روٹس دین آفٹر سم میجر اپ ڈیٹس دا گرنٹ واز انٹروڈیوس ایز ماڈرن ورک پیس ڈیولپمنٹ ورک فلو اینڈ ان ان سیج سکس آئی ایس In Sage 7, the grant was changed to Gulp, and in Sage 8, they, named, uh, they renamed the Roots to Gulp, and uh, now the major release is Sage 9, which was introduced in Feb 2018. So, what's new in Sage 9? Uh, in Sage 9, they have introduced Laravel Blade Engine, Blade temp uh, that's a templating engine, and uh, a better file structure. Also, uh, if, uh, they replaced Gulp with Webpack, with which you can uh, with, uh, convert your, uh, compile your SAS files to CSS files, convert your ES6 JavaScript to JavaScript with Babel, and uh, you can optimize images as well. So this was the, um, a modern world process. The next thing is uh, why we should use, say, the next reason is template inheritance so uh, the template inheritance is uh, something new in uh, wordpress theme development which is commonly uh, using in some other frameworks but not in uh, wordpress the only sage is providing this template inheritance functionality what is it so uh, with template inheritance we can make a base layout file and in that file uh, we can we can include all the uh, common web elements like headers, uh, sidebars, or uh, footers. So we don't have to write get header, get footer, get sidebar again in our theme template files. So this is template inheritance, which is a very useful feature of, uh, of this stage nine, and uh, you can call it as a theme wrapper as well. An improved project structure. So uh, in this uh, project structure of Sage 9, they have removed all the common files from the main theme directory, like 
you uh, pre in other streams you can see functional dot php in index dot php single dot php or other template files in the main directory of that theme but in say 9 they have changed all the structure they moved all the files into uh, resources and views so i will talk about those in upcoming slides blade template engine so uh, wordpress lacks a real uh, blade template engine um, how many uh, people used laravel or know about laravel great so laravel is using blade for a while and it's co be going quite good as uh, it provides a lot of functionality uh, unlike the twig or mustache th 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 those are also template engines what is blade provides us is uh, they pr it provides functionality to write php codes in its views and template files as well so i do i do typically don't recommend say it for the new uh, wordpress developers like if someone already build themes uh, in uh, in with other starter frameworks uh, starter themes are built theme from scratch they should work on say 9 but if so someone is new in development of a theme they should avoid uh, they should practice more on uh, normal theme development from scratch so uh, i'm giving you an example of uh, uh, page.php which you can see in your theme tem template files this is the uh, page.php file uh, built in uh, underscores you can see something like this in underscore but uh, uh, if i will use say 9 this this will be the code in page.php file as all the extra things like get header get sidebar get footer are already in theme wrapper in in uh, based on the app.blade.php file which is a, a theme wrapper of say 9 so in all the uh, child templates like page.php single.php archive.php you won't have to write all those code again so that's what template inheritance is and that's uh, the reason because blade engine was integrated so starting a project before starting a C9, we of, of course have some requirements. The first requirement is uh, Git. It's extremely most important to have a local development workflow uh, for building a WordPress theme. Like um, if when you, once your theme is done on local, then you can migrate it on your uh, live server. With Git, you can sync all the live server, your local server. So I, I will recommend every uh, developer to use Git and all the uh, WordPress themes or plugins projects PHP so you will need a minimum of minimum version of PHP that is 7.1.3 for Sage or greater than that uh, it uh, some of the features in Sage uh, won't work in the version below 7.1.3 of course the latest copy of WordPress is required for building a theme in Sage so composer composer is a PHP's dependency manager uh, it is required to uh, install the stage in, in uh, our as, as our starter theme. The next one is Node. Uh, you probably hear the name of Node. So Node is, um, uh, we, we require the 6.9 uh, minimum version for stage and if, if there is uh, above version that will work with it too. And uh, the last one is Yarn. Yarn is just uh, package manager just like grunt or just like npm so npm was used in say 8.5.1 when say 9 was introduced yarn was replaced with uh, gulp with npm so to install a composer you can run this command on command line and if you uh, want to install it on windows then there is a setup which you can download and install composer by installing Node.js, you can have a package manager to install on Windows and on Linux or Mac, you can run this NVM command line. And just like that, you can install John as NPM package. So you won't have to, uh, you won't have to uh, run your task with Bower, Gulp, or Grand. Uh, John will do 
do is good work. So starting a project, uh, first you will have to uh, go into theme directory with command line and there you will have to run the uh, composer command which is create project. So you will have to write com composer space create project and then sage, sage and then the name of the theme you want. So in, uh, uh, right now it is your theme name, you can replace it with whatever the name of theme is. And if you don't have Composer, like for some reason you can't install Composer, then uh, you can uh, get the repo from GitHub of Sage or you can download the zip file. So this is the theme structure for Sage and uh, you can see here in the root directory there is no index file, there is no functions.php, there is no single blade, a single archive or page.php file. So what happened is uh, they move all the uh, functionality files in app folder which you can see there will be controllers, there will be uh, helpers and uh, in, in resources folder there will be views files where you can see all the uh, templates like single.blade.php and uh, page.blade.php and in uh, assets, resources and assets, you can find all the JavaScript files, CSS files, images and fonts to optimize. Here uh, Webpack or Yon will work to compile, uh, like compile SAS to CSS, ESX to JS and optimizing images. So tasks like that can be run by Yon. So uh, after installing the uh, Sage, with Composer, then you will have to install it dependencies. Uh, you can see the dependencies is in package JSON dot, uh, package dot JSON file. There are two type of dependencies. Uh, the one is uh, dev dependency and the another are just dependencies. Dependencies are used to, uh, dependencies are, uh, can be used for requiring bootstrap, font awesome and stuff like that. While the dev dependencies can be used to run the task like image optimization, SAS to CSS compiling. So there are some available build commands for yarn. A yarn build that is used to uh, run, that will be, that can be run on local when you want to compile all the assets in local development workflow and uh, yarn start is, uh, sorry, yarn start can be used to uh, run the browser sync task with which you can see all the changes on runtime without refreshing your browser and yarn build protection can be used to uh, compile all the assets if you want to move the uh, theme on, on a live server. Okay. Okay. So uh, after installing theme and uh, like after doing all these steps you can see this say nine uh, page like this one. So there you will have to plan some, uh, do some planning for the theme. You will have to uh, make some dummy content like if you want to make a uh, WooCommerce site then you will have to make some products so that you can design those pages. You will have to make some content. Then you will have to create a site map of a whole website. So you will have an idea like how much work you have to do. And the last thing is uh, you will have to keep the site functionality a part of the theme. Like if you want to make custom post types, if you want to make custom taxonomies, then you will have to make plugins instead of making all these in functions.php file. And the last is blade templates. And uh, I already explained what template inheritance is. And uh, if you are using blade, then uh, you don't have to worry about using the function like escape underscore URL, the sanitizing function. Blade does all these tasks automatically and uh, with uh, Blade you can, you don't need to uh, create a functionality in views. You can, you can f create all the functionality in controllers and then you can access those uh, functionality and just like that you can make global data so you can access in all the files. And uh, in Serie 9 they also introduced controllers. There is some specific controller. Uh, for say nine with which you can also pass the data with controller. They, that's an alternative way. 
and there are blade directors. Blade directors are like, just like short codes, you can hide all the ugly code with blade director. You can make a blade director on uh, and controllers or other files, and do, then the, you just have to run the blade director when it will do all the work. And uh, some of the developers might have an idea about namespaces. Namespaces are used to uh, like uh, removing the conflicts in, in removing the name collision. And uh, the last one is uh, beautiful looking code. It is uh, totally clean code with blade nine. All the structure theme code is totally clean and neat. So that's it, I guess. Yeah, any questions, you can send me an email or tweet. Yeah. Thank you.